things in the playoffs this past season were hurt by the Seattle Seahawks. You know, we all, all of us, guilty, guilty. Amen. Made a lot of fun about the Seattle Seahawks. How do you get into the playoffs? How do you get in at a 7-9 record? Well, this is how they got in. Regular season finale. Home game against the Rams. Winner moves on to the playoffs. It was the Seahawks. Seahawks won it 16-6. So at 7-9, not only did they get in, but they won the division. Then the Saints came to town. And you know what? The city of Seattle believed. The Seahawks believed. If nobody else did, Mike Williams with the catch. And then the run that measured on the seismic the seismic thing. Whatever. The thing. The seismic It's a thing. That, no, the seismic scale. Yeah. It's a thing. Okay. Whatever. The Geiger count. Not Geiger. Whatever. Okay, let's go. Let's just move on. Uh, and which is what the Saints did. <laughs> they moved on to the offseason. Oh. And the Seahawks moved on, uh, and where eventually they lost in the next round to the Chicago Bears. But this was a team, the Seattle team. There was a lot of mojo about them after the win. You just said it. Yeah. Huge momentum for and the then? Seattle Seahawks at the end of the season, and right? And then? And then. What's your next opportunity to build on that momentum, Seattle? The draft. This is your opportunity to build on it. And I'm going to say you absolutely whiffed. And this hurts me to say, I got Seattle in my blood, man. I played there for four years. I love some of the people up there in that organization. But let's be real now, you know as well as I know, this can be very hard to re-sign Matthew Hasselbeck. Why do you think Arizona Cardinals didn't draft somebody? Why do you think the Washington Redskins didn't draft a quarterback? Because Matthew Hasselbeck is a free agent and he's still a very, very good football player. And then you look at your draft. I understand that if you want to take the tortoise mentality, you just want to be the slow guy and kind of build in the on the offensive fronts and take value picks. I respect that philosophy, but here's the problem. I'm sitting next to two very, very smart men in Mel Kuyper Jr. and Todd McShay who work very hard at what they do. And you overdrafted almost every single position. So it's one thing to take the tortoise mentality and, and to draft these players and think we're going to build on the lines and be slow about it, but then to not take Andy Dalton at 25 when he's sitting there and to take some of these players that you overdrafted for, not that they're not good football players, to me is a travesty. And everybody in your division is getting exponentially better. The 49ers are getting better. The Arizona Cardinals are getting better. The St. Louis Rams are getting better. And you, in my opinion, one humble opinion, absolutely whiffed on today's draft, especially when you know Hasselback's going to be hard, almost impossible to re-sign, and you don't get Andy Dalton. I am blown away, and it hurts, because I truly, truly love that organization. Some of my finest memories are in Seattle, and this hurts to watch. Is that good enough? Whew. So how do you really feel? <laughs> Just so I'm clear. How you react to that? I'm a, it's a little gray, a little gray they, area. Well, I mean, look, they obviously, a few years, a uh, couple years ago, or this past offseason, they went and got Charlie Whitehurst. They paid a lot of money for Charlie Whitehurst. Uh, Charlie Whitehurst was the guy that helped them down the stretch until he got injured, and then Matthew Hasselbeck came back. And they're begging Matthew to come back right before the lockout happens and trying to make everything happen to sign him. And it doesn't happen. That shows the confidence level in Charlie But is, is it absolutely done? Realist, no, I know, though. but is it absolutely done in your opinion? I'm not saying no it's way, done. It's going to be very, very difficult for them to re-sign Matthew because, because he's watching the other people in NFC West getting exponentially better in the draft, the organizational structure, everywhere you look. And he looks at his team and says, this, this is what we're doing? Especially, you know, Golden Tate last year, I thought was a tremendous reach. The receiver this year, tremendous reach. They have a hard time getting open. They have a hard time protecting. That's not a quarterback's real comfort zone to go play in that environment. Let's take a look. Let's go back and right. go over the picks again, Todd. Let's get yep. our opinions. I'll give you what I would grade yep. it out. Let's take a look at it. James Carpenter, I thought had a pretty good year. Uh, I thought the senior bowl showed pretty well, okay? I think here's a kid, left tackle, Juco transfer, moves inside to guard or goes over to right tackle. He's 320 pounds. I agree. Reach at that point. But a guy who could make it on their offensive line as a starter this year. John Moffat, I'm higher on than you are, Todd. I think he can be a guard center and start in this league. I'm higher on KJ Wright than you are. Durham, I agree. Reach should have been a six, goes in the fourth. Sherman, the former wide receiver turned corner, just an average fifth round pick in my opinion. You look at the later round picks, Mark Legree was a playmaker at App State. Maxwell has some ability. Levingston's a backup. You don't see a lot there to get excited about, but they did do one thing. They helped the offensive line. And Moffitt, I think, and, and Carpenter can be a plus with Russell Okung. It's not perfect. They had holes at four spots. They needed more than just two. They got two guys that I think can help them. Uh, I think there were some reaches, no question, maybe some missed opportunities, no doubt about that. Uh, I agree. Uh, Trent, I think it was a draft that's not going to help this team stay where they are, which is a playoff variety, and who ended up beating the New Orleans Saints, the defending Super Bowl champion, in that playoff game and prevented St. Louis in that playoff 
play-in game from getting in with Sam Bradford. Just to, just to point out, I, I think both of these offensive linemen will wind up being solid starters in the NFL. But when, when you say it's a reach, you have to back it up with who's, who's behind them. And I think Gabe Karimi, offensive tackle out of Wisconsin, would have been a better pick than, than James Carpenter. And we'll, only time will tell. And then you go down to the pick in the fourth round, a wide receiver, Chris Durham. I, good player, underrated, has a chance to be one of those guys that come, kind of comes out of nowhere, didn't have huge production, but was a big play guy. He goes in the fourth round. I had him at 212 in terms of this year's class ranking. That's not important. What is important is after that, Edmund Gates, Greg Salas out of Hawaii. There, I mean, there were a lot of good receivers. There, Tandon Doss from Indiana. I thought right there in that same round, within about 12 picks, you had three receivers that are a lot better. So it's a strong statement by Trent. I understand exactly what he's saying. I think they got some good players, Seattle did. But every single one of these pick, uh, picks, I do believe they could have gotten a better player at each one of those spots. Yep. So you basically are point. agreeing with him, just saying it a little more subtly. Uh, hey, listen, I'm probably not going to be welcome yeah. back in Seattle, but I, I, you know, I don't sit up here and try to play the, the political card. I love Seattle. I love some of those people. I want them to be successful. It hurts when I see this, especially when Andy Dalton is sitting there at 25, and I know the Seattle Seahawks liked Andy Dalton. Is it almost as if with those linemen, they're waiting for Andrew Luck next year? That's what I'm saying, and that's a great point. They may be playing the Andrew Luck oh, card. No. <laughs> and kidding. by the way, I'm just all kidding. my followers <laughs> on Twitter that weighed in, yes, Richter scale <laughs> is what I was looking for. Thank you. The draft continues. What's the plan for the run today? Just full speed ahead after That's the noise.